the first time at Mavericks, I was with Brian. We went up to Ross's Cove, which is on the north side of the point to surf. And he's just going, no way. The waves are breaking right in the rocks. Where are you gonna go out there? You're gonna die. You can't surf that. Start wearing purple, wearing purple. Start wearing purple for me now. All your sanity and wits, they will all vanish. I promise. It's just a matter of time. Calm, quiet day out there, so peaceful and glassy, and the first wave hits. It sounds like howitzers going off. <laughs> you know, and that's what sent the chill through my body. I just spun and went, and I finally get to my feet, and it's like I'm just free falling, like I just jumped off a cornice and landed on ice, and I'm just You're on the face, but you're not moving. The water's going up as fast as you're going down, and it's suspending you. Finally, it, it released, release, and then boom, behind me. And, and I made it, and I was just, all right, all right. I'm starting off okay. It was about 10 years before I just got somebody to sit in the channel. 15 years before I got anybody to come with me that actually believed me. The word spread like wildfire that there was this giant wave in Half Moon Bay and how could we have all missed it right under our noses? It's great to see the international big wave guys come and surf Mavericks. They're waiting to ride big waves. It's a very dangerous game we play, but we play it with very calculated risk. Something I've said before and I'll say it again, Fear is a myth. If you're, you're tuned into what you're doing, there's really nothing to be afraid of. The biggest question that I get is, do you think I could surf Mavericks? You're asking the wrong person. You gotta ask that guy in the mirror. I spent a lot of time at the beach in Northern California and finally one day somebody said, I'm gonna go surfing, I got a board you can borrow to ride a wave for the first time and have this energy gurgling behind you and pushing you and it's exciting. You wanna do it again. A storm that happens in the atmosphere, it goes, it collects energy, goes down and starts a big low pressure and it makes an imprint in the ocean 1,500 miles away. This means we're gonna have a day off soon. Sorry I can't make it, <laughs> the waves are coming. I started shaping surfboards in my garage. It was a hobby. I built boards for my friends, and, and then I started building boards for a lot of friends. You can shape all kinds of crazy things. There's nothing more satisfying than making a board for a guy like Grant Washburn and watching him spin and go on a 40-foot wall of water. He's free falling, lands it, and surfs away from it on something you made. Getting in the ocean is like you wash the land off your body. You sit out there and you, you think about all the stuff that you're dealing with and a set comes in and it all goes away and you ride a wave and, and you're free again. I feel really fortunate that I've been able to create my own destiny. One of the most valuable things I think we have is time. Time to, to be a kid, be free, time to create. Just appreciate uh, life and the opportunities it gives you and keep it real.